All right, let's see. Terrors against Francus. Oh. Sorry for repeating the question. How can I compete with a fuel wheelbarrow like Nico? Oh, uh, how can you compete? Well, depending on your sieve, you might have access to a different tech tree, military option compared to him. It's not really like a, an answer. How do you compete with it? Well, you try to outplay him using whatever tools you have. What if you have your own bonus for military, maybe for yeah. There, there is no right answer to that. Just have to try and <laughs> get good, play better. No, it's uh, it's really hard to say. I couldn't give you a generic tip to just like do this and you'll compete with it. It's, it's not that simple. What, what you prefer, Magars or Franks for Cav? Uh, Franks are always better for uh, pure Cav. To Paladin with more HP. And Paladin is the best cavalry in the game. For most circumstances. So this deer running earlier makes me think his uh, scout was there. Let's see both boars. How about a challenge to push the 2k7 D after being the first 2k7 of Well, a lot of people have 25 and I still think the ratings overall are too low. For people to push 2700, we have to be a little bit more of a um, increase in the average elo of the top players. This Paladin versus Elite Conics play out. I think with full upgrades, only one a Conic should win, right? The Paladin are faster. Uh, I actually don't want to say no. I think Conics should win in theory though. But if there are like a secondary unit involved, I think Paladin is still better. If they have better armor, more HP, and whatnot. Did you see the two pulls finale yesterday? Uh, I didn't. I checked the result or like the score now and then, but I didn't really watch any of the games, so I cannot really give you my thoughts or anything on that. And apologies. It's really weird how Tara's with all these buffs still at 45% win rate. I think Tatars is a very specific sieve, in, but what I mean by that is that it's hard to properly utilize their bonuses. So I, I think on higher ELO it's more likely that Tatars look good than on lower ELO, you get what I mean? It's still a very good sieve. But they do also have some weaknesses. Phonics win in the trades, less rest expended, equal numbers on the sieve. Yeah, but I still think that if there's like, imagine it's a team game, Conic Arbalest with pa against Paladin Arbalest, it should be way better for Paladin then. What is Tata's biggest weakness? Uh, doubt controlling them. It's the most expensive unit to fully upgrade Conic. I think I think Berserkers are up there now, right? I think if I'm not mistaken, Berserkers they are, can be really, really um, expensive. Elephants? Mm, I'm not really sure. Oh. Give Tad us back to the sheep. Well, you still get sheep, just a different face, a different face. Don't be greedy, eh? Mangadai? Mangadai aren't that expensive to upgrade. Hey. 
Like the elite upgrade is expensive, fairly expensive, somewhat expensive. But besides that, not really too expensive to upgrade Mangirai. Yeah, elite plumes don't cost gold to upgrade, that is correct. His scout was there, so I kind of want to be a little bit careful because I think he's going to have a way faster fuel age time than us. We don't really want to lose our scout. Ah, why does it go back? Come on, we can do it, we can do it. I haven't really decided on the strategy either, yet. Uh. One to one, okay. I I'll give up on that guy. We have a pretty nice map, if I wall. <laughs> we have a pretty nice map, if I wall. So our, ni our map isn't that nice. Oh, you know what, you shouldn't attack that. As he's doing 2 and 1 pop. This is not up yet. Why is he up so late? Okay, I'm going. Oh, wait, he is up. Oh my god, I'm blind. I didn't notice he was up. I'm playing Spearman. <laughs> Period. I'm playing Spearman, boys. Wish me luck in my Spearman play. Yeah, I have a... Okay, 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 okay. Hear me out, hear me out. But you don't have to hear me out. Just listen to what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play Spearman into Cav Archer. Maybe. And not make any scouts or anything like that at all. Uh, it's still open there, I guess. I could have potentially trapped everything there. Maybe like five, six crossbow as well can be nice. Because no, the thumb ring timing can be pretty damn sweet. Now the issue is if he makes archer units or range units, we don't like those. We don't like those in these parts. So it's a bit of a strange approach. I'll, I'll admit as much. With the whole not making any kind of unit really. We could also play camels if we think he will just make stable units. Poke them all to death. That's my kind of my game plan here. I done my game plan. Let's wall there. I don't see a range. So I, I think I could even go straight couches. Okay, made more scouts than I anticipated. Oh, he's committing heavy on that. Oh, he wants it. And he didn't get it. And we're up. Can't complain. I lost my scout. Well, he cannot go in there because he knows he will be trapped. <laughs> One is low HP. Oh, he's thinking about it. 
Yeah, we, we just go triple range. Uh, straight into cavalry then. Yeah. Get him! I shouldn't have lost my scout. I should not have lost my scout, period. But besides that, it's looking pretty fine so far, I would say. Oh, pretty nice map. Yes. It's also 17 minute castleage, so I mean, could be worse. And we're gonna get sh all this juicy stuff for free. Don't die! Ah, oh, damn it! Okay, let's go. That's early. It is early. You're right. Not straight couchers. Hello. This straight couchers. The thing is, if he wants to counter us, he's gonna have to go skirms. Oh, it's open. Oh my god. And be dead. And be dead. Sort of. He's not really dead. But yeah, MBL going skirms, huh? Anyone saw that coming? I did not. Okay, we have three TCs. Passing idle time. Seems good, man. Oh, that seems good, bad, man. Uh, I mean, our eco is gonna kick off and get really good there. Well, he has defensive units in the skirmishers. You play pikes, now you play skirms. Okay. I don't think we even have to make any more units. That makes sense. I'll explain it to you. He doesn't have Balkan, by the way. I don't think I have to make any more units in Castle Age. In theory, right now, I think I could play this game, guarantee that it goes to Imperial Age, and I don't really have to fight anything in, in Castle Age anymore. I think I could guarantee that easily now. What if he does a sneak stable? But he already has a stable, he doesn't have, doesn't have to sneak anything. If he rushes Imp, I'm eh, not too worried about that with Franks. I don't think he has to set up for that anyway. Fifteen farmers, I'll just add a fourth TC. I mean, he's playing defensive units. The only thing I can do is keep him... Now, naturally, it will be good by me to be uh, active and like force him to chase my cow archers and whatnot. That will be good. I also kind of feel like just showcasing how I think I could just simply ignore the castle the rest of the game at this point, considering how this game has played out. I think that is possible. Yeah, because he's playing Skirms, which means, in theory, I don't have to attack him. Skirms aren't a scary unit to attack me either. So I'm also thinking I could just sit back here and 
not do anything. Just bald you now, and he made an archer. <laughs> That's cute. Prepare. House, house, house. We think of going heavy into cowards and adding some light cut to the skirms. It's an option, but it usually is something that I mean I still did in theory I did a fast castle here. So I don't really have the eco to support uh, multiple army uh, right away in Castleage. But of course down down the line it's uh, it's an option for sure. Well I guess the game proceeds. You have great crossbow? I did not. Why are you lied to me? Why are you lying? Oh, he's decided that he cannot just sit back. <laughs> and there, then he went back again. Well, Moonfaller, listen. Moonfaller, most talented player I've seen. Attacking MBL is doing what he wants at this point. Because he has the skirms, right? I just have no reason to... I have no ins... It's... I have no incentive to attack him. <laughs> it's... It's weird, but it's the truth. Ideal situation for me now is just carry my eco lead through to Imperial Age and uh, play Cow Archers. AKA, I don't want to lose my Cow Archers. It's uh, just how the game works. We have a hundred villagers. We just go to Imp, we make Keshek, we make Cavatures, I guess. He has clicked up by the looks of it. We lost our goods. Oh, look at that. This is the time where I can I get to use my 55 range trebuchets. Oh, not like this. No eco upgrades, uh, not the best upgrades, but it will suffice. It's a weird arena map generation. Every game is arena. Just get used to that right away. Every map in Age of Empires is arena. Surprise he's not up yet. His score had a dip where I thought he was he had clicked up. So I'm a bit confused now by him not being up. You see? Because also the Ford Castle is like, hey, I'm going Ford Castle because I'm gonna be Imperial Age and I'm gonna, you know, trebuchet you. Turns out he wasn't up. <laughs> okay, well that's strange. 
I guess I'm just up then and to enjoy myself. I don't like that he had saw me there. Team rate 500. I mean, he's going knights. I could go for flaming candles here. <laughs> It's tempting. Mighty tempting, sir. Mighty tempting, indeed. Am I going for Timurid, boys? Are we going Flaming Camels? Bring forth the Flaming Camels, they said. Yeah, watch the Lancers. Could be something. Maybe another castle. I mean, if you guys are saying I have to do it, I mean, what, what can I do, you know? This would be one more trip first. Probably low key throwing by doing that, but also excited to see how it plays out. What? My trap! Not like this! Wait, 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 wait. You have to wait for Timurid. All right, we have we have super range. Now we just need ultimate super range. Shit. I should probably have army to defend if I want to do this. And okay, now I'm legit throwing. <laughs> okay. Oh, I could make flaming camels. Oh, boys. Oh. Alright. Is he doing a four castle? Hey, what is this? Good. Let me look at my armor. Okay, I don't have full upgrades yet. Boom! <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> okay, screw that shit. Yeah, the negative damage. Agreed. What it feels like. Wasted all the stone. Hey, it was an investment into entertainment. You clearly don't know how investing work. You think that was a waste. See if I can grab that relic. Did I just make a hand cannon there? I just made a hand cannon there. Keep in mind as well that I have unlimited gold with my Keshik. Oh, that's bad timing. Hello? What? Up with my mouse. Oh, shit! We have a lot of ills. We can afford. Yeah, let's get. Oh, that's extra damage for flaming camels as well, right? The. What did I want to say? The um, 
Siege Engineers is extra damage to flaming camels. No? Sorry? I thought I ordered seven and a half. Yeah. Yes. Or it isn't five enough though? Yeah, uh, well, we can order seven units as well, easily. Sorry about that. Anytime T, thanks for two months. Juicy, thanks for the sub. Welcome, Origami with the 10 months. Crywolf Moon with 3,000 bits. Yes. Thank you very much. Also for the 11 sub uh, re, re month. Everyone, 11 month resub. Thank you very much, Cry Moon. Uh, I need another castle just for production. Uh, let's just do it something like here. I have 19 range trebuchets, guys. 19. You have any idea how many range that is? A lot. It is a lot. Must be 19. Oh, you're pretty close. Pretty close. Pretty close. What was there? Oh, there's another relic. Herbal medicine hype. Yeah, the thing is, how can he how can he ever engage my trebuchets when I have flaming camels around to uh, to uh, attack his cavalier, right? I just don't understand how he can possibly ever engage my army. He, he probably doesn't see my traps. They're, they're so far out of his vision, he probably can't even see them. That's my theory. He probably doesn't know his cast is going down. Because, guess what? You cannot see anything there. It's all hidden. Oh, oh. Bring forth the flaming camels. Oh shit, this paladin. Boom, boom. Eh, <laughs> they're doing... They do a pretty good job. Can't lie. Oh, come on, flaming camels. Kill all these. All my beautiful relics, man. Yeah, we need. There's still a relic up here. We can possibly grab. Is that a castle? That is a castle. Best of trades the world has ever seen. I'll give you that. Like it through so hard. Hey, it's still not over, man. I still think we're winning. I just need to invest my wood into something else. Yeah, we need to pick up that relic as well. Losing that castle would kind of suck, though. I'll give you that. Did lose those boys. Again, you cannot underestimate the fact that I have unlimited gold, right? With my Keshix. Look at that range, man. I know, right? 
that range. He still has plenty of gold. And now he's taking my gold too. Pick it up. Check the corner, maybe some gold there. I have a uh, herbal medicine now. Just can you close my door? It's getting really cold. Ooh, freezing here. Yeah, castle is down. Open door. Final switch to Hussar. Working on it, mate. We're working on it. Run. Yeah, our couch is up pretty much full of heal again. Now, <laughs> cost effective, do I think we have a better army composition than him? I'm not really sure. But we do have five relics. You'd imagine that should help as the game goes on. You'd imagine. I just gotta get my control groups sorted here. He has an annoying heal there though. Okay, this cast is something we're gonna have to commit on saving. Which I think should be fine. Wait, he's shooting my units and not the castle? Wait, what? <laughs> He's shooting my units with his traps. Why? Oh no, heavy camels. When you have flaming camels, why would you ever make heavy camels? You tell him, answer me that. Give me a good argument for, for that and I'll... Uh, Think about what you said there. I think his equals in shambles and he cannot compete with the flaming camels. Okay, we're out of gold. Best stone. We kind of have to take out these guys now. It's a lot of villagers. It's all about the flaming camels, boys. What? I had extra stone. Okay, this would have been another castle. Would have helped. Yeah, if you can make... Also, towers don't get heavy camel, do they? Oh, they do get that. Oh. It's pretty nice. Eco the redstone, I think, for 31 months. Doing my part, keeping up the streak. I'm ignoring that I broke it. <laughs> Thanks, Deco. We don't... We don't... We ignore any breaking of 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 things like that yes viva swan thanks for the three months captain pete thanks for 28 anytime t thanks for two oz morgan with 31 firewolf moon with 11 almost 64 with the 10 months alon kill terry with the five deals chest with four premium mensch with the three months appreciate it guys let me uh, check the stats here quickly, and then I'm, I need to get some clothes on me. I'm freezing. But Jordan is Discord. Jordan asking for us. Yeah, they get fully upgraded heavy camels, yeah. Domodogan, thanks for the five. RS Elfie with the eight months. Economy, we're better all along. So, I mean, from here, this point forth, we take such a big lead simply by just going to Castle Age. In theory, what I can do is also just, like, if you think about how this game played out, and Biel made some scouts, I made some spears, and I get a 17 minute castle age. If I just show two ranges, or one or two ranges to him, he is gonna counter that by skirms. I think a lot of people would counter it by going knights, but MBL will always go skirms. 
what I can do is just make two ranges and don't make a single character. And then drop three TCs, take some stone, drop a fourth TC, make a seed workshop, and I will never be in any threat. So in theory, the game is won there simply by decision making. And uh, yeah, it's kind of, <laughs> I don't know.